guys, what's up? My name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel, The Reading Otter 7. So today I kind of have like a surprise haul because I normally don't do hauls a lot because I get like one book at a time, kind of, sort of. Um, but we went to Second and Charles kind of on a whim and actually ended up with one of our biggest uh, store credit returns ever. And I think this is probably the best we've done as far as books um, goes. So I wanted to show you guys. Um, there should be like a vlog that we put up at the beginning, kind of sort of just like a short little like we're going to Second and Charles thing. Hey guys, coming to you live. Won't be live later though. Um, we are on our way to Second and Charles. There's Beth. Ah! And it was kind of an impromptu thing. I had an eye doctor this morning and I was like, hey, I have time to kill. Let's um, let's go do shopping. And I like just got paid, so I was like, yeah, let's do it. And it ended up being a huge um, collection of books that we're turning in. So yeah, I don't even think I can accurately show you because we have two totes stacked on top of each other, but I'm gonna try. So this is our haul that we're turning in, basically our unhaul. Um, I didn't film a video because this is very spontaneous, so we're not filming unhauls. Yeah, there are two ever film an unhaul. bookish totes that are just packed. And accurately, both of these totes are book themed, so yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll probably, maybe depending on how much money we get for these, do like a haul later, so stay tuned go into the haul. Some of these are best books and some of these are best pops, but we share bookshelf space so I'm going to do them all together and a couple of these I'll probably end up reading, so I'm just going to go ahead and do them all. Two that I have are from the same series and I had this series already. Um, I actually just donated all of it to Second and Charles um, because I've been working on getting it hardcover. So I picked up The Reptile Room and The Ersatz Elevator, both by Lemony Snicket. Uh, this is book two and book six in the series of unfortunate events. Um, and then the next one, I have been trying to find these for a while because they've always really intrigued me. And so that is um, The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. Um, I'm hoping this is book one. We think it is because the other ones were labeled down the spine and this one's not. So I think this is number one. If it's not, someone please let me know. Okay. This one is one of Beth's and this is Princess of Thorns by Stacey J. Um, I don't know anything about this, but I know it's kind of like a Sleeping Beauty retelling, sort of, kind of. Next one is also one of us, and it's Poison Princess, um, by Kel Cres Cresley Cole. I almost said Kelsey. I absolutely know nothing about this. Um, but it was 350 and she wanted it, and we try to do an even split generally, so. I might read it. He's attractive. We'll see. The next one is Elusive by Emily Lloyd-Jones. Yes. I thought she had two last names. Apparently this one's like a superhero book. This is also one that Beth picked up. Um, it was 450. And yes, the back says this would be the beginning of a new world order. An age of real superheroes here to solve humanity's problems. However, there was one flaw without reasoning. Human psychology, physiology was altered. Human nature wasn't. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That actually sounds kind of cool. This is probably one that I will read um, because I love superheroes and you don't actually see that many superhero books, I feel like, unless they're like directly based off of an already established superhero. So this is very intriguing to me. Um, we've been looking at this one for a while, actually. The last two are like mine, so I actually know some stuff about these. Okay, so that the next one is Skyscraping by Cordelia Jensen. Um, I have never heard of this book, but the spine caught my attention first, because I think that's beautiful, and then I pulled it out, and I was like, whoa, that's cool. And then I, like, read it, and I was like, oh, that's a neat idea. But what really got me was it's told in verse, and I have actually never read a young adult fiction book that is told this way, and so that really intrigued me. Um, also, the cover is just stunning. It deals with, um, her father, like, coming out as gay, and all the stuff that kind of, like, goes along with that in society because it takes place in 1993 when it's not as open, um, when the world wasn't as accepting. So it deals a lot with her like facing criticism for that in school. Um, so it sounds really interesting and I just love the cover and it was like 550 and they were doing a buy three get one free. So I really wanted it. And the last one we were like really excited to find. So this is kind of like a me and Beth book and that is The Walled City by Ryan Grodin. Um, I know this one is, like, dealing with, like, China, 
and it's, I think it's a historical fiction. I don't really know. I remember reading the synopsis a while ago and being like, oh, that's really cool. And then like putting it on my list and kind of forgetting about it. And then we saw it and we were like, ooh, The Walled City. And it was 450. So we were like, let's do it. And yeah, I'm super excited about this though, because I love historical fiction. And I've never read like a Chinese historical fiction. So this is kind of a cool idea. I feel like a lot of the historical fiction that I read is World War II. And that's probably because I'm a World War II junkie, but you know, that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this one. And now we're getting to our pops, which we kind of like went a little crazy. Um, I did anyway, because they had so many pops on clearance and I was like, oh my God, I want them all. So um, it was hard to even like narrow down to the four that I got. And one of these is, is a birthday present from my best friend Chloe. And her birthday is like this week. So I'm just gonna show it anyway, cause she'll probably see it before I put this video up. So, um, so the first one I'm gonna show you is actually Chloe's birthday present. Um, spoilers if you're watching and I haven't given it to you yet, Chloe. Um, but you asked for it, so you should know it's coming. And that's the Yule Ball Ron Weasley. He was five bucks. Sorry, Chloe. Um, I'm a cheapskate. But, yeah, he's really cute. Um, we actually own him up there, but Chloe wanted one, so I hooked her up. Um, I just need to find the, her, well, his counterpart. You guys should know who that is. So The next one I found was, like, a total steal, because there's nothing wrong with her. And it's Emma Swan for three bucks. Heck yes. She was like in her case weird, but I already fixed that. Um, but other than that, like she looked fine. So I don't know why she was three bucks, but I had to have her. So I have Emma Swan. This is our first Once Upon a Time pop. I'm really excited. Cause we don't have that many TV pops. I feel like we need more, so. And then, cause I have a superhero problem. Um, I got Black Widow from the Civil War line. She was five bucks. I have her in the Age of Ultron and I also have Hawkeye in the Age of Ultron. And if you don't know, which I probably haven't mentioned it yet. So this is news for you guys. I am a huge Black Widow Hawkeye shipper. I know it's not canon. I know he's married in the movies and in the comics, I'm pretty sure. And I know she's with um, Captain America in the comics and everyone likes her with Bucky right now, but I'm sorry, I'm a Hawkeye Black Widow shipper. So I feel like she should be with Hawkeye. It's just how it should be. So I had them both from Age of Ultron and then I had Hawkeye from Civil War. And so I'd been watching her for a while and I was like, no, I don't really need a second Black Widow. The second Hawkeye was a gift, disclaimer, I didn't buy him. Um, I was like, I don't really need it. And then I saw it for five bucks and I was like, yep, she's coming with me. Sorry. It's been like a year in the making, so. Captain America from Captain America Civil War, he was also five dollars. I didn't have a Captain America yet. I didn't really have one that I like favorited over the other series. And I just kind of wanted a Captain America. So I have a problem with Pops and he was five bucks and I didn't have him. And I was like, I've thought about getting him, so I'm going to get him, you know. All right, and these last two are my sisters and we're both like nerdy excited about these. Um, so for like a year now, since I started putting out Harry Potter pops, Beth was like, they need a Ginny pop. They really need a Ginny pop. And so it is no surprise that we found Ginny and we had to have Ginny. Um, I think this is like a pre-release. It doesn't have a sticker for it, but I'm pretty sure on Amazon you can't get these till October. And we found them today. Um, Cause we were like, oh look, there's, I'm gonna have to show you the second one because we saw him first and we we're like, oh, did they like pre-release? Some of these must not have the same release date. That's Remus Lupin. So we saw him and we were like, maybe he came out earlier. And then I was like walking by the Harry Potter table and I was like, Beth, there's a Ginny. And she was like, give it. So she like grabs it. And uh, yeah, so we like ran for this one. Um, Cause we thought they didn't come out till October, but they are like super cool. Um, Ginny's a little plain, but you gotta take what you can get when you've been waiting a year for. Remus looks really cool though. Um, I would take him out of the box, but that would be like a struggle watching me do that. But he's like super detailed. I don't know if that's focusing or not, but he's really cool. I'm kind of jealous um, that these are hers. So when we move out, I'm not gonna have them, but we'll be together for a while, so it's fine. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun. It's the most fun I've had in our new second in Charles. So I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to read all of these. A couple of these we've been looking for for a while, so yay. Well, anyway, that's it for this video. So be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more awesome content. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.